Hey guys, I hope you're having an amazing week. This week is much better than last. Last week was pretty crazy as I was explaining. This week, it's a whole different ball game. So excited, so much exciting news to share. And as you probably already know and can tell from the thumbnail of this video, I did get a new Rafi Fedora Decursiva from uh, the same uh, nursery. And I'm gonna get into all of the details, why I bought a new one, what this one looks like, um, comparing some of the differences between the two. And also I'm gonna get into a little bit of those care details um, because I think the light requirements for the decursiva is kind of the trickiest thing to figure out, so I wanna touch on that. But also I have new additions to my plant space, so I wanna update you guys on what's new, what's different, what's going on. Uh, so a little bit of a plant tour in here as well. There's a lot to do today, and uh, yeah, so I hope you stay tuned and uh, enjoy. All right, so before I forget, um, I have had um, some little... Um, logo stickers done up, and I don't know if anyone's gonna be interested uh, in these, but if you are, I have about three uh, laying around. Um, so if you um, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment uh, on this video and mention that you want one of these, the first three people uh, to do so um, can send me DMs on social uh, with their addies and then I can send these out to you um, if you're in the continental US or Canada or Mexico. Um, then uh, free shipping, not a problem. All right, guys, so here is my new baby, my new Decursiva. It is night and day between uh, this and my last plant, and I wanna really get into all of it, and I had a whole conversation with the manager at the nursery, and um, I did get a little bit of an explanation, and like I said, I do wanna touch on some care tips and uh, light requirements, because like I said, that seems to be the sort of trickiest uh, component to care for this uh, plant, at least in my experience now. Um, and yeah, I wanna to touch on, you know, just how different uh, my two plants are and how that's even possible and how that can happen. But I do want to first share a couple of the updates uh, in and around my plant space with you guys. So um, I have my uh, 13 amaryllis bulbs, um, you know, up here, rearranged this whole table and space, brought back the oxalis, and there is already a little bit of growth on some of them. Um, and a subscriber was telling me that they like to use uh, their heat pad um, when um, they're just starting out their amaryllis bulbs. I've never done that before and I've uh, always got them to flower, but uh, I think it's an interesting thing to try. And um, I've given it a little bit of a try. Oh, look, some new growth there as well. So. They're all kind of just getting started, but super exciting. Ooh, super dark. But uh, yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. So this is kind of all different now. And a um, couple other new items. So I got this cute little planter. I haven't put anything in there. Please, if you have suggestions on what would look really cool and just be perfect for this, uh, planter, then please comment down below what should I plant in there. And the other big change is uh, my crystal addiction <laughs> isn't going anywhere apparently, and I did get this, um, this new uh, addition. Super sparkly, super shiny, especially when the light's like directly on it. Um, and I got that for like, I think, it was a really good deal, so I'm happy. And then the, the other one that I had in there originally, I just put up there. Um, so that's kind of a lot of fun. Really kind of loving this, but don't know uh, what plant to put in it just yet. Otherwise, there's some awesome new growth coming in on my Ming fern. 
Northern, and it's the best, coolest uh, new growth out there. Uh, and like I said, I just absolutely love this plant. My Tetrasperma seems to be loving life here, and I'm getting tons of new growth, and this plant does grow super quickly. Uh, I'm just in awe. It's like the cutest plant ever, so super happy with how that's going as well. Oxalis, super happy, pushing out tons of uh, little flowers and some new growth, so super pumped about that too. These are absolutely, ugh, love the purple, love the movement they have at nighttime and when they open up uh, in the morning, it's just so pretty. Also, I haven't showed you guys in a while, but my um, one of my three orchids, um, I had to um, cut the stalk back after um, they had finished flowering, and one of the three uh, has pushed out new growth and one bloom and a couple of, more than a couple, a few uh, new buds there, so uh, loving that. Um, the flowers aren't as big as they were the first time, so I feel like Either I'm getting something slightly wrong, so any advice on that would be greatly appreciated. All right, so really quickly, uh, the backstory for those of you uh, who don't know. Long story short, uh, a couple months ago, I bought a Raffifedora de Cursiva. I was so excited. Um, it's, you know, a plant that is just newly available to the masses. Um, it's an adorable plant um, because of the way it grows and the fenestrations and the um, all of the the cuts and the slits on the leaves and the the size that the leaves uh, get to in maturity anyways you get the idea it's a really uh, amazing plant and I was just so excited to have one um, but uh, the story doesn't end there. I had a lot of issues with my decursiva, and as many of you uh, know, um, and I'll quickly show you. Um, so this is the plant here. It's just really not, the leaves are curling. Um, it didn't put out a ton of growth as you can see. Then it did put out some new growth. And then it just kept growing and growing and growing. And then finally uh, put out some uh, more mature uh, foliage or at least one leaf but I was just really concerned anyways cut to getting this amazing plant um, and like I said I had spoken with the manager at the nursery and um, these they did get from Florida as well as the um, original decursiva but they did get this from a different grower um, a different um, I don't know what you want to call it, different grower, different uh, nursery, what, you know, you get the idea. Um, and uh, I think, I mean, they didn't basically admit that a lot of people had kind of mentioned to them that they had issues, but they didn't deny it either. Um, and he did offer to, uh, you know, give this one to me for free if I had returned the other one, um, which I just politely said, you know, I want to try my best with. This one, um, you know, so I'm still gonna give it a chance, but um, this just looks like a whole different ball game. And I think the thing for me is, you can see that the, um, the inner notes um, are just so close together and each one is putting out uh, leaves and foliage. Whereas here you can see, you know, let me see if I can get one kind of, you know, that is at least two or three inches. So they did kind of get a little bit smaller, but down here that we're talking like easily five, six inches. Um, so that could be a function of um, how it was propagated. It could be a function of me putting it on a moss pole. It could be a function of both. Um, so who really knows, but I think this one kind of has a whole different vibe to it. Um, yeah, so in terms of lighting, I think lighting is kind of like the thing that I've spent the most time on with this plant. And after uh, this whole experience, I think the best advice I can give is you kind of want to keep your decursiva um, you know, getting really good bright indirect light. It is something that's under the canopy. 
Um, so basically what I'm recommending is that you keep it um, near a south facing window but inset um, a couple of feet so it, it's not really getting any of that uh, harsh direct light that it doesn't want but it is getting enough bright indirect light but the whole cat like the one caveat that you really have to be careful about is temperature and if you are putting it um, close to a door or a window um, that's south facing that does get opened um, and you have winter, um, that's something that this plant's probably not going to really like. So something to keep in mind, um, I think, yeah, you just gotta figure out where in your house or your home, your apartment, your condo, whatever, where this plant is going to do its best and giving it the most best bright and direct light maybe a little bit of dapple light is probably ideal. Um, so I'm just super pumped to take you guys on this new decursiva journey and uh, how this two plants kind of go from here um, and exactly just that. Guys, I love when the light hits my Monstera just right. Anyways, totally getting distracted here, but I uh, can resist. Love, love, love. Um, also, the center flower is kind of starting to go, but guys, my desert rose totally put out three absolutely beautiful flowers. So happy about that. Um, I had shown this a few weeks back, but love it. Anyways, what do you guys think uh, about me getting another decursiva? I think normally if I want uh, more of the same plant, usually, uh, if I can, I will propagate it. Um, however, um, that just wasn't really the possible or the case uh, for this plant here. So got another one. Definitely curious to know what you guys think just in the difference of what this plant looks like now. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for me and uh, this vlog. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you are not yet subscribed to my channel. And yeah, miss you guys so much. See you soon.